it's Lindsay Ann, and today we are making one of my all-time favorite breakfast treats in the entire universe with the best cinnamon rolls. This recipe, you guys, is everything. You know it's that good because there's no chocolate in it, and I'm still that utterly obsessed with them. They're literally the best cinnamon rolls I've probably ever had in my entire life. I kid you not. And if you're not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, be sure to tap that subscribe button to be the first to see my all new videos. These ultra fluffy soft rolls are loaded with gooey buttery cinnamon sugar filling and smothered in cream cheese glaze. These babies are hands down the only cinnamon roll recipe you will ever need for the rest of your life, I promise you. So the base of these is ultra light and delicate. They're not like dense and bready like some cinnamon rolls. The dough is so soft and tender from the buttermilk and super moist from using a combo of butter and oil. And the filling, you guys, the filling is unlike anything you've ever had because I added some of my secret ingredients. And to finish it off, we are slathering it in my all time favorite cream cheese icing. It's sweet and tangy, rich and smooth and creamy and is the perfect topping for smothering on top of these cinnamon rolls. All right, so we start with the dough. And as always, I'll leave the full written recipe for you guys down below or you can get it on my website at lindsayannbakes.com. So first we whisk together some warm milk and our instant dry yeast. And I don't want you guys to be scared if you've never worked with yeast before. It's really easy and this is the perfect recipe to try it with because they turn out so good. Some sugar, six tablespoons of the melted butter, vegetable oil, vanilla extract, the eggs, and a little salt. And just make sure you're using instant yeast or rapid rise yeast as opposed to just the regular dry active yeast so these rise really puffy and perfect. Then slowly mix in the flour one cup at a time with a wooden spoon or a spatula until the flour is incorporated and the dough starts to come together. And the dough is gonna be a little tacky to the touch but if it's way too sticky, you can add up to a third of a cup of extra flour if you need. The trick is to add just enough flour so it's not too sticky to work with so you end up with those light, fluffy cinnamon roll dough. And you can definitely make this recipe in the bowl of your stand mixer, but I'm showing you how to just do it by hand in a bowl. It's really that easy. Then we're just gonna knead the dough until it's smooth and elastic. And if you need to add a little bit of extra flour, go ahead, but just use a tiny bit at a time. Then we're gonna form the dough into a ball and place it in a bowl coated in some vegetable oil. And just roll the dough in the bowl to coat it in the oil. Then go ahead and cover it up with a towel. And we're gonna place this in a warm, draft-free area to rise until it's double in size, so about one to two hours. Okay, so while our dough is rising, we're gonna work on the filling and get everything prepared so we can put it all together. So first, just spray the bottom of a nine by 13 inch baking dish with some nonstick spray and set that aside. For the filling, mix together the brown sugar, vanilla, white sugar, cinnamon, cornstarch, and nutmeg. And then at this point, I also like to take the butter out of the fridge and let it come to room temperature so it's nice and soft for when we spread it on top of our dough. All right, our dough should be nice and ready. It should be about double in size, so let's go check on it. Oh my God, look at that giant puffy ball of dough. That's perfect. So now we're just gonna turn it out onto a lightly floured work surface and using a rolling pin, we're gonna roll it into about 12 by 18 inch rectangle. The best part about these is you can make them the day before, so you just wake up, pop them in the oven, and you have got warm, fresh out of the oven cinnamon rolls with that amazing aroma just wafting through your house. Now comes the best part, we're gonna go ahead and add the filling. So just go ahead and spread that softened butter all over the top of the dough. And then we're gonna sprinkle our cinnamon sugar mixture right on top so the entire surface is fully covered so we get that ooey gooey filling. Then just roll the dough up tightly lengthwise so you have a long 18 inch log. Now we're gonna cut our log into individual cinnamon rolls so you get 12 equal pieces. You can definitely just eyeball it and cut them one by one, but this way we get 12 pieces that are about the same size. Then just arrange them in your prepared pan, cut side up. Okay, so here's where you can either do the overnight method or the bake straight through method. So if you wanna bake these tomorrow, go ahead and cover them up nice and tight with some plastic wrap and pop them in the fridge overnight or for up to 16 hours and then come back and we'll continue. If you wanna bake them straight through, that's what I'm gonna do because I want cinnamon rolls and I want them now. So if they've been in the fridge overnight, just go ahead and pull them out. Or if you're continuing on with me, we're just gonna loosely cover these and let them rise for a second time. So just go ahead and put them in a draft-free warm area until they're double in size and nice and puffy for about one, one and a half hours. So I just like to brush the remaining two tablespoons of melted butter right over the tops before we pop them in the oven so they get that beautiful sheen of golden brown right on top. 
And now we're just gonna pop them in a preheated 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're perfectly tender and golden brown. All right, while those are in the oven baking, we can get started on the cream cheese frosting, my all-time favorite part of these cinnamon rolls. So just go ahead and beat together the cream cheese and the butter until it's nice and smooth. And make sure those are both at room temperature so you don't get any lumps in your icing. Then go ahead and add some vanilla extract, and the powdered sugar, and just beat this all together until it's smooth and creamy. All right, our cinnamon rolls should be almost done by the smell of it, they are ready, you guys. My whole house smells so good right now, I wish you could be here with me. Let's go get them out of the oven and then we can add the icing on top and give them a try. Look at our beautiful cinnamon rolls. Oh my gosh, you guys, that gorgeous golden brown top. And you can just see that cinnamon sugar filling poking out from the middle. I cannot wait to slather some icing on top of these. Then just go ahead and spread the icing right over the warm cinnamon rolls. And of course, I had to add my own little fun touch on it. So we're adding some rainbow confetti pastel sprinkles and some edible sugar pearls. Because let me tell you guys, these cinnamon rolls deserve sprinkles and sugar pearls because they are that good. And if you're not gonna eat these right away, go ahead and store the cinnamon rolls unfrosted in an airtight container at room temperature for a few days, or you can freeze them for a few months. Then when you're ready to serve, just reheat them and you can go ahead and add that icing on and enjoy. All right, the best part, let's dig in. And if you guys give these a try, be sure to tag me in a picture on social media at Lindsay and Bakes, or share this video with somebody who you want to make these cinnamon rolls for you. Oh yeah, you can already tell how tender these are. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys. The dough is so soft and that cinnamon sugar filling is so ooey gooey delicious and the icing on top just totally brings it all together. Mm. Mm-hmm. You've got to make these, you guys. I'm telling you. Just look at that. They pretty much like fall apart. Mm. So there you have my best ever fluffy cinnamon rolls. Thanks so much for watching and commenting. You guys are the best. I love you so much. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for tons more videos that I know you're gonna love. And I'll see you right back here next time. Bye. Oh my God. I wish you guys could see me off camera because I literally cannot stop eating this thing. I mean, just look at that. Can you see the inside of that cinnamon roll? Right there. And the center, that's what I'm getting towards, the center. That's the money spot in there. Mm. Mm-hmm, that center. Oh, I'll get there. <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> Guys, I'm kind of speechless. I know I'm a huge chocoholic for life, but this week on YouTube, I made cinnamon rolls, and these probably are the best cinnamon rolls I've ever had in my entire life, like ever. Oh. And yes, I put sprinkles and sugar pearls on top of my cinnamon rolls because they deserved it. I mean, that ooey gooey, cinnamony, sugary, soft, doughy goodness, they deserved it, trust me.